Did I just hear a cat? I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. What about that? The octopus thing there. That was the window scraping, or this will be obvious later. But my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Interesting. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Lurpy. Oh god, my mom would love, probably be this crazy old lady. Oh, I can't get closer. Bub. Rob. There you go. Another Lurpy? How many Lurpies did you need? A Zerp oh. That's probably not Lurpy. They're all probably named Erpy. Derpy. No. Her bird here doesn't have a name. Sorry, nameless bird. Is that a, there's a snake? Bob. And Burpy. Ryan Sketches. Oh man. My friend would love this pile of yarn there. She's the one who taught me to crochet. Lewis and died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Yeah. Edie looks like a very good painter. Is that Grumbrusher or when? Oh. Looks like Windsor Newton Grum Brusher packaging. <gasps> oh my god, the memories. My grandma had a sewing machine like this. And I would always play on the pedal, and she'd make sure the needle and everything was out before I played on it so I wouldn't hurt myself. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Built in 1937, Sven Finch. Oh, another Tiffany lamp. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Aw. I remember all that. I actually still have the VHS. When Edie quarter. told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. I still have our family's VHS recorder actually next to my bed. Those are the blueprints for it. It's fun. So I guess that's how it's Sorry, for this one I just heard like someone speak. We're gonna go over here where that Her room is like a museum. Wasn't. Oh, we get to find out who he is? Oh. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and mm -hmm. misfortune. Is that the original house? 
Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. He brought the house. Some dedication. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Is that where the original bricks came from? For the fireplace? The house that sank to the bottom of a sea? Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Simpler times back then, when everybody had a family cemetery and everybody was buried in their backyards. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. I kind of hear you on that. Our family, well, one half of our fa my family has very strange incidences and where, oh, you can't look out of the pupils. She has a finch on her door. It's actually very close to the fin a finch we own. has had some very strange happenings. Even in her family. 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. And I do mean strange occurrences and incidences which led to the death of a couple family members. Hot tar. The only trace the Grandpa thing. Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Yeah, same goes for my house. Pink bathroom, because of my grandmama. There's a secret in the bathroom by Sven and Edie. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh my god, I would love to have a house with like secrets like this where all you do is you go from book to book and you're just like, hmm, I wonder what this book does. I wonder what this book does. Okay, photography studio. I recognize this. Study photography and color. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Oh my god, the registrations. Making your little sandwich so it would appear on there. Calvin Finn. It doesn't look like a picture. Ooh, slides. Oh. It's 
family sure loved its wine. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Fort Sam, Fort Calvin. When did Calvin die? Oh, we're gonna find out where this extension cord is. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh, you broke your leg. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, he swore I would die before he'd I never be mushroom. afraid again. I would die and he well wasn't. Mushroom. I'm allergic to mushrooms. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. How long go swinging right now? Stop! Uh -oh. Calvin! Get up, Freddy! Don't tell Coming. me this thing, Bull. But that it... day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Oh. Exactly how Calvin died. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Calvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Oh my god, I actually tried doing this as a kid and got. Oh god, got terrified at this point. And maybe he'd still be here. Oh. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh, come on. Let's go all the way over. Because I'm pretty sure the branch just like just literally snapped. Away. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Yeah, at that point where you really feel like you're about to fall over there. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. That's not how I thought that was gonna go down. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. 